What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are bringing you guys yet another banger, this time featuring Life Orb Ampharos. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, I don't understand what you guys are doing. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, join the Jeans community. But yeah, we're rocking out with Ampharos today, and I'm super excited considering I know a lot of people like Ampharos, including myself, and Mareep was in this game. And everyone was excited about that because we haven't seen Mareep in a little bit, you know? I mean, we saw, we've seen it in uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but I don't really count that. I'm talking about main series Pokemon games. So when Mareep was announced for this game, I feel like everybody was a little bit excited because that Pokemon, it's adorable. Let's let's be real with that. But then Ampharos is really cool. And I know a lot of people like it. But we get started here in the top left corner. We have the one and only for Rigoraf over here. Frigoraf is one of the best Trick Room setters in the game at the moment due to its ability Armor Tail. It blocks first turn priority moves, so fake out, sucker punches, all that stuff cannot come out on the field while this Pokemon is on the field. It has Throat Spray as its item, then it's Rocket Trick Room, Imprison, Psychic, and Hyper Voice. Second Pokemon is going to be King Gambit, and King Gambit is just so strong in Trick Room. One of the best Pokemon in Trick Room and solid Pokemon all around in the meta at the moment. It is Defiant as its ability, the Lumberry as its item, and then this moveset is fairly normal with Protect, Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Kaltao Cleave. Third Pokemon is going to be Arbalaba, and I've been loving this Pokemon a lot. You don't get to see it too much on the Rank Ladder, but when you do, it actually does pretty solid. It has Seed Sour as its ability, the Citrus Berry as its item, and then it's got Strength Sap, Hyper Voice, Energy Ball, and Terrain Pulse. Fourth Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be that Ampharos. Super excited to use it. It's a rather slow Pokemon, but its special attack is pretty high. So if we can get this Pokemon out in the Trick Room, it does pretty solid. It has Static as its ability, the Life Orb as its item, and then it's Rock and Protect, Thunderbolt, Power Gem, and Terra Blast, which will change to a flying move if we Terrastalize. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Dragapult, one of my favorite pseudo legendaries of all time. It has Clear Body as its ability, the Focus Ash as its item, then it has Protect, Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, and Hydro Pump. Sixth and final Pokemon is going to be one of my favorite support Pokemons of all time. It is going to be Grimmsnarl with Light Clay. Prankster has its ability, Taunt, Reflex, Spirit Break, and Light Screen as its four moves. Can't really go wrong with that Grimmsnarl on any team. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb Ampharos team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Murkrow meta team with me, Alskarada, Mousehold for Rigorath, and then he's got Dragonite and Hydreigon for a double dragon combo. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like I have to lead for Rigorath, pop trick him somehow, right? Because it seems rather fast. So I am going to go for Rigorath for a lead, and I am going to also lead Dragapult. Do I lead the Pult? Pult could be solid here. It could be solid. Outspeeds, I think, everything, right? Even Miascarada, ooh, kind of close with the Miascarada. If our nature was there, then yeah, but I don't think our nature's there to outspeed Miascarada. It's going to be kind of close. Because Miascarada's speed is right around the same thing. But do I lead Ampharos? I, I'm not Ampharos, uh, Dragapult. I am scared of the Sucker Punches. I am really scared of that. I could go into Gambit. Gambit's not bad here either. I like Gambit. Hmm. Hmm. What is the play here, Jeans? What is the play? I kind of want to go Pult. I kind of do want to go Pult. Holt, Gambit, Ampharos? I'm really liking that. Or I could go Arbalaba. Now we're going to go Pult, Ampharos, Gambit. We're going to hope that he doesn't lead Miascarada. We're going to hope that it's like more of like a Murkrow or Mousehole kind of lead with Rigorath or something. We're going to hope. We're going to hope. We're going to hope. I am scared. I am definitely scared of that uh, of that Dragonite Terrastalization. Everybody knows that E-Speed Dragonite is really Huge problem. So, we're looking to just get after it. Grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Let's see your opponent ends up leading. Anything but Miascarada. Of course. Miascarada. So, I do have Focus Ash. I'll probably use it up right here, right? Makes the most sense. Um, hmm. Could Terrastalize. And what do I want to do here? Probably pop the Trick Room, yeah. Overall. Into the Trick Room. And do I just Meteor? I think it's gonna be my play right after me ask around because if I had to guess maybe a sucker punch is probably fine I could have protected it but okay follow me comes out here I can deal with that ask around what are you doing that's the real question pop a trick room to counter my trick room that would be amazing that would be a phenomenal play by them the Draco meter comes out here we get off a huge amount of damage and we're gonna me ask is gonna read me with the trick room that's a really smart play but it's a play I don't really mind because I'm just gonna pop trick room next turn again you think he reads me? Can I imprison Trick Room and then pop my Trick Room of my own? 
<laughs> is that allowed? <laughs> is that allowed? You know, screw it. We're just going to pop a Hyper Voice this turn, and we're going to try to get rid of Miascarada. See if Miascarada can pop Trick Room again. That'd be hilarious. Sucker Punch coming in here. Armor Tail. You cannot use it. Why was I, oh, I was so worried about Sucker Punches for that reason. Now I'm going to Meteor here, and I'm going to pop Throat Spray. And populate. Oh, never mind. So we might not even be able to get off Trick Room. That would hurt the soul. My god, I hate this move. I really don't like this move one bit. Can you stop hitting me? Please! Please! Bro, <laughs> yo, stop. <laughs> stop with this. This nonsense. It's nonsense. Ten times. See, I was worried about that. I was worried about that. But from here, uh, do I go into Gambit or do I go into Ampharos? We don't have Trick Room, which sucks. It really does suck. Hmm. I could get a free swap for Dragapult, which I think I'm going to need. So I'm going to go into Ampharos here. And I'm going to swap Pult. I am going to swap the Dragapult. And I might Terrasalus here. Do I do I Terra here? And a Flying and just get rid of Miascarada? This sucks. I mean, no, we're going to have to use uh, Dragapult to get rid of what's called right now. I'm gonna have to use Dragapult to get rid of uh, Mousel because if not, he's just gonna pop bomb me, right? Or is he gonna follow me the shot? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to use Dra Dragapult to get rid of uh, Mousel this turn. But he's looking to sucker punch me. We're gonna use our Focus Ash up, and we're gonna go for the double kill, and then kind of go from there, and then try to swap Dragapult. Because if I could swap Dragapult and have one extra turn, that could be huge for us. Especially with Dragapult, like it could drop Draco Meteor, so it can do a ridiculous amount of damage. But the Trick Room counter was a huge play on our opponent's part. So now we're in a hole. Follow me does come out here. Okay. I mean, that's not a big deal, considering Sucker Punch is probably going to come out from Miascarada. No, it does not. We take out you. My special attack is dropping. I think it's ready. I don't know when it's going to pop a Sucker Punch. That's the real question. Let's see what it ends up doing. I'm going to go for a knockoff. That's fine. It goes for a knockoff, brings me down to one. Ampharos will be able to take out the Miascarada. And then I'm thinking of just swapping the Pult. Again, if I could have Pult for one more turn, it's just huge. It's just really, really big. Pult can do absolute work with a Draco Meteor. If I can get his stats back to full. So yeah, I'm thinking of swapping. There's really nothing it could do. It's minus four right now in special attacking. I'm not going to rely on a critical hit coming in here. So we'll see what Pokemon they want to bring out. It's probably going to be Double Dragon, right? I had to guess. That would not be good. That would be no bueno. That would be no bueno. That would not be good. Let's see. Gonna end up being one dragon and two dragon, right? Don't be two dragon. It's two dragon. <laughs> Everything I don't want. Okay, so Power Gym could fly for me. But I see a big terrestrialization coming in from obviously you, right? I feel like I just Thunderbolt, right? I'm gonna Thunderbolt in this slot. And I'm going to swap into Gambit. I'm gonna get the Gambit swap. The Gambit swap coming out here. Again, Dragapult can really clutch up. It can really clutch up, and I feel like we need it if we want a shot at win this match. But this one, it's looking tough. It's looking real tough. So we're gonna swap the Pult. We're gonna get out the Gambit. I'm gonna try to get off some damage with my lovely little Ampharos. Even though it is 60 speed, super, super slow. We're gonna hope that they were going after the Pult slot. But there's Terrasalization. Is it going into the Dragonite, if I had to guess? No, Hydreigon's taking away Terrasalization into straight fire. This could be scary. This could be scary. I don't like this one bit. If it's going into a fire move into my... Okay, cool. That's fine. That works perfectly. The fire terror. Ice spinner coming out here. Oh, that's my KO me. Can we eat this? And Feroz, you gotta eat that. You gotta eat that. We don't eat that. Uh, And now we're stuck in this position right here. Draco Meter could come out here. Do I Draco here? Into the Dragonite slot? So if it's multi-scale, it eats that up all day. Oh, I needed that. I needed that eat up on that Ice Spinner. I needed that eat up. That could have been so big. That could have been really, really big. But from here, you know what? I'm going to say screw it. Go into a Hydro Pump in this slot. And at the same time, just protect this Pokemon. Right? What do I attack with this thing? I could Sucker Punch at the same time. 
Yeah, you know what? We're going to try to get rid of this Pokemon. Maybe the Dragonite might protect. It does not, but still. Solid damage. Can this Hydro Pump land, please and thank you? It does. Do we pick up KO? Oh, no shot. No shot that thing lives on one. King Gambit dodged that, but that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. We had a shot at winning this battle. We had a shot at winning this battle. We, we have no shot now. We have not one single shot now. Just think, this is what should have happened. I should have... We would have won. We would have won this match. We would have won this match if that Hydreigon went down. Because he would have Ice Spinner into my Gambit. Gambit obviously soaks up. It would have been Dragapult and King Gambit versus that Dragonite right there. I would have Sucker Punched it, took it off Multiscale, and just Draco Meteor dropped it. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. The real question is, does it think I'm going for another Sucker Punch? Maybe I could do this. If it does, like, something stupid. Nope, it just drops Heat Wave. I should have Sucker Punched it. We could have had a shot at winning this, but it's GG's. It's GG's. We would have lost this one anyway. That is absurd. That is absurd. Oh, want to get this video started. Let's hop to a second. Look for a first victory. Second battle coming at you guys, and I cannot believe we lost that last battle. Lost to a free Focus Sash that Hydreigon legit survived on 1 HP. Definitely hurts his soul, but we're hopping into our second battle, looking for our first victory. Going up against an Arm Rouge and Fivlion team. I haven't seen Fivlion on the rank ladder yet, so I do not know what to expect. They also have Mousehold, Indeedee, Murkrow, and Aqua Breed Toro. So I feel like Indeedee and Arm Rouge combo is probably an absolute must for our opponent. We could bring in Gambit, because Gambit's not too shabby here. Or we could just try to pop trick him with Free Graph. Go Free Graph and possibly into, hmm, maybe like a Light Screen setup with Grimmsnarl? Could do that or again i could go into gambit but if they go into ndd i cannot suck a punch at that point so i feel like they're gonna go for like an expanding force kind of thing so i'm just gonna go there i'm just gonna try to stack up and then go amphros and king gambit to clean up the rest of the pokemon right sounds good sounds really good we're locking it in we're locking it down let's grab ourselves a win here in match number two but i know i've been asking for a lot of teams to be built so if you guys are interested in making me teams i got a few pokemon listed on my right that i really need teams for I want to see a Luxray team, Star Raptor team, Appleton, Flapple, Glaceon, Leafeon. Not, I'm not saying put them all on a team, but separately. Like a Luxray team, a Star Raptor team, a Flapple team, Appleton, Glaceon, Leafeon. You guys get the gist. Really cool Pokemon. Oh, and Cyclozar. I think Cyclozar is really cool. So if you guys are interested in make, making me a team, there's a few Pokemon that you guys can build around. But they're going to go into Biblion alongside with Armourge. And I don't really know what to expect here, right? I just think a Trick Room and a Light Screen is probably your best bet. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I feel like it has to be like, a, this has to be like a combo or something. We're just definitely not learn Spore. I feel like it's a Pokemon that can learn Spore and that can be very, very annoying. Or Sleep Powder, one or the other. Because Butterfree used to be absolutely amazing by just going straight into Sleep Powders because it was so fast. And that's what this Pokemon is reminding me of, Butterfree. I miss Butterfree and Beedrill. I like both those Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon. <clears throat> Let's see what our opponent wants to do. I feel like there has to be a combo here. The light screen gets set up by me. We're saying, hey, yo, we're, we're neglecting a lot of the shots here. Sleep powder coming out here. Okay, yeah. So this Pokemon is a sleep powder Pokemon. And I'm really happy with that, that he put my Grimstar to sleep. Now I get off a of Trick Room. And Clear Smile going to come out here. Okay. I'm fine with that. I mean, I can, I, can, I, can, I can be cool with that. And Trick Room's out and about. So we get out Trick Room. I'm just going to start Hyper Voicing. And I'm going to swap it to my Ampharos here. So I'm going to save you for later, and Hyper Voice is going to come out here. And then easy swap right into my boy Ampharos, and we'll get cooking from there. So I do not need to ref reflect right now. I'm not going to waste out my Trick Room turns while this Grimstone is asleep. So I'm going to swap to the Ampharos, get that Pokemon out here. Especially since we have Power Gem, I can legit start ripping into any of these Pokemon. So I like it. I like it a lot. And then, Am and then uh, Ferrigraph can start being a threat, considering it's going to pop Throat Spray. Hyper Voice is going to be able to do more and more damage. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be solid. Then we got the Gambo in the back end. Gambit's solid even without Trick Room. It can really, it can just be a beast all around. So let's see. Ampharos comes out here. Yo, let's get after it, Ampharos. Let's get it. Let's get it. He's gonna end up withdrawing Vivlion. So that's fine. This is a really solid swap out for us. And he's gonna go into. Is this gonna be an NDD swap? It is gonna be an NDD swap. So Psychic Surge comes out and about. Probably Psychic Seeds here. Expanded Force might come out here too. I don't like that one bit. Expanded Force looking scary, scary. It's looking real scary. Every voice flying here. How much damage are we doing? 
Not bad damage. Could be better. Could definitely be better. And expanding force is looking terrifying. Heat wave. Okay, I can deal with heat wave. Who dodged that? Ampharos dodged that. That's a really solid dodge. It's a really, really solid dodge. As much as I want to go into a power gem, I'm going to stick with hyper voice. And do I go into the power gem? Or do I predict to follow me and just straight up Thunderbolt? I feel like Thunderbolt and Hyper, Vo Hyper Voice can take out Armour. So if he wants to go into follow me, I'd rather hit the hit that Pokemon with a uh, what's it called with a Thunderbolt. So let's see what typing is gonna swap into straight Psychic. So I, I believe Expanded Force is coming out here. Follow me, Expanded Force could be deadly, could be scary. Hopefully no follow me coming out here, but it is gonna be follow me. So Thunderbolt's gonna work out perfectly here. It's gonna be better than anything. And Expanded Force, I don't know how to feel about that. Thunderbolt comes in hot here. Chipping up some nice damage. And Hyper Voice is also coming in. So Hyper Voice flying here. Oh my, Yo, what is up with the free focus ashes today? That's two. That is two. Can you guys eat these? You guys can both eat these. Okay, that's lovely. That's huge. So Hyper Voice coming in here. Uh, what do I do? I feel like I swap into Grimson all here, right? Nah, I should keep Ampharos. I should keep Ampharos. But yo, that hurts. That hurts the soul right there. That hurts the soul. Since Ampharos is slowest, I am going to go after it indeed with this level. But yo, really? Two free focus ashes and the battle was canceled? Okay, we'll take that win. Let's hop into a third. Look for a winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys. Going up against a heavy meta team. But I cannot believe our opponent quit in that last battle. I definitely want to play it out. We were showcasing Ampharos. But we take those Ws all day. I feel like we had the win in the bag anyway. He had Vivian in the back end. Ampharos would have KO'd it. And that Arm Rouge and that Indeedy. We were about to KO him anyway. So we were thriving in that battle. But like I said, third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against a heavy meta team with Garchomp, Annihilate, uh, Volcarona, Dragonite, and then... Who was that? King Gambit and Golden Go. So again, very meta team. Hopefully we get after this one and grab ourselves a winning record. I have to pop Trick Room, but do they have any way of countering Trick Room? It could go into a final Gambit, right? It could 100% Gambit me. I'm going to go Free Graph, though, because I feel like I have to go Free Graph. And then I am going to go King Gambit. I feel like King Gambit could be a really solid lead here. Right up against a lot of these Pokemon. I really do like King Gambit. So I'm going to go King Gambit. I am going to go Free Graph. And then... Hmm. Hmm. And then who do I go from there? Because I feel like Garchomp's going to be a problem, man. Garchomp seems like it's a problem. But I'm going to bring Ampharos, and I'm going to bring Pult. I really like Pult. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves this winning record for today's video. Hopefully no no free focus ashes in this third and final battle. That could be very annoying. Because we did get one in the last battle, too. That Arm Rouge lived on one. The Hydreigon lived on one in match number one. It's just, it just hurts my soul. <laughs> it really does. I don't know what else to say for that. He's going to send out these two. I don't mind these two Pokemon. I really don't. So Volcarona can come out here. I'm going to pop Trick Room. And do I Terra here? I might just Terra in the straight dark and just Kaltak cleave this thing. Yeah, because we know that the, the Heat Wave's coming in here. We know that Heat Wave's coming in here. And I really want King Gambit for a lot of this battle. So I'm going to I'm gonna Terra Slice. I am Terra. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. I go straight dark typing. I'm all about it. And, ooh, Frigger might not be able to survive his Kaltak lead. Fiery Dance coming out here. Probably into my Gambit, right? No, you gets crit on me. Hurt my soul. Don't like it. Special attack is boosted. We're not going to be able to get off a of Trickery. I should Terrasalize you. I should Terrasalize. Yeah, I definitely should Terrasalize Frigger. Definitely should Terrasalize Frigger. Now I do not have Trickery. It's fine. We can deal with it. We can deal with that. I didn't really think that turn. <laughs> Made a little mistake. But Kaltak Cleaves can come out here. Chip up some nice damage. And then from here. Did I just go Ampharos? Ampharos is not too bad here. Well, I could just go straight Pult. But then the thing is I have to worry about Sucker Punches. So I'm going to go straight into Ampharos. I'm going to start Thunderbolting the, uh, the Gambit slot. And go from there. I think I'm with that. All right, straight up Thunderbolt in this thing. Chipping up as much damage as possible can. And then potentially just going into a Sucker Punch, right? I feel like Sucker Punch... Is it going to KO? I feel like it should. We're going we're gonna to drop it. We're doing it. It's going to be cutting it close, I swear. If this thing lives on another Free Sash. Hurt my soul. Sucker Punch can come out here. It's going for probably a different move. What's it going for? A Morning Sun. Wow, what, what a play. The Morning Sun comes out here. Stores its HP. 
Iron Head flying here as well. Doing some nice damage. And Ampharos can drop a Thunderbolt. Can we grab a nice little para? Oh, Ampharos with the damage. The lovely little damage. So another th actually, let's go here. Let's power gem you down. And just protect this Pokemon. I'm just gonna protect the game bit here. Get it, Ampharos. Ampharos doing some work. That's why I wish I would have gotten off that trick room. Could have been big time place for us. Protect coming out from my Gambi. Someone's got to go after Gambit, right? Fiery Dance coming in here. Is that going to get blocked? Big time block. Gambit's probably coming after me with the Kowtow Cleave. Nope. I, oh, no way. You double down into my Gambit. That's a huge protect. That's a huge protect. Ampharos going to be able to drop a nice lovely Power Gem. Get some big time damage off here. Later, Volcarona. Okay, so solid turns right now. Solid, solid turns. I could swap my Gambit save for later. What do I really want to do here? I definitely want to Thunderbolt and get rid of his Gambit with my Ampharos this turn. But if Garchomp comes out here, we're going to have a problem. A big problem. And now we have a big time problem. So we're sitting here, big time problem. I'm just going to have to protect and... Huh. I guess just Sucker Punch into this thing. It's my only play. Because I mean, if he takes out my... If he takes out my Gambit here, I can bring out Holt and, and get a lot of work done. Well, he's gonna withdraw the Gambit, so I kind of, I kind of like that. He's gonna go with the Dragonite, another scary Pokemon that I don't, that I don't want to deal with. So I'm protecting the Ampharos here. I'm going for a Sucker Punch. Probably dropping an EQ, right? Gotta be EQ. Sucker Punch coming in here, and wow, that damage is huge, huge damage. Rough Skin gonna chip me up. EQ's flying here. We already know it's coming. And can you eat this up? Probably not, Gambit. You're dead, right? No shot you eat this up. You already, you already took some rough skin damage. And oh, 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 We did eat. We did eat. Hmm. What do I do here, though? Because if I had to guess, E Speed's coming out here, right? E Speed, EQ. I'm going to E Speed my Gambit. I could swap in the Colt. I'm going to swap in the Colt. This is terrifying. He withdraws Garchomp. Okay, I can I can deal with that. I'm going into a regular Terror Blast. Thunderbolt could have been good. But we're hoping he's going for an E speed here, right? Wow, Thunderbolt could have been huge. So we go into Pult. I'm surprised he swapped the Chomp. I think he just didn't want that uh, coming in here. I guess for a Fire Spin. Okay. Fine, I guess. Terror Blast gonna fly here. Probably not KO, right? Three focus ashes all day. We got one, they get one. Getting on my nerves here. And then from here, what is my play? I mean, he can obviously suck a punch, right? He can obviously suck a punch me, so I'm just gonna protect. I feel like this play would just be swap. Mmm. your speed let me see your speed gambit you're slower gambit i should protect i can't i can't eat up a sucker punch i don't have my focus ash there's terra mm. we know the e speed's flying it's looking really scary oh we're going straight in the fairy going straight fairy that's a really good battle that's a really good battle right here Protect coming out from my pole. He sucker punched me. What are you doing here? You're gonna sucker punch my Ampharos. Can you go after my pole with that, please? Drake a meter into my pole. It's huge. That is a big time protect. The big time protect. Because I Thunderbolt you down. You're gone. I have Gambit to just straight sucker punch the what's it called later. I do have Gambit to just straight sucker punch. The Garchomp. Wow, this battle's coming out of the wire. Ampharos doing some work right now. 
Loving his hand froze. <clears throat> He's gonna bring out Chomp. Again, I don't want to worry too much about the Chomp, right? I feel like we just have to get after you. Right? Go there and then can't drink a meter. Could just straight up Shadow Ball. That's our best bet. She's going into a Shadow Ball. Right? That would do more damage. Yeah, it does a little bit more damage. And it has higher accuracy. So Shadow Ball's gonna fly here. <clears throat> Multi scale right there. Or or vested. Outrage gonna KO me. Yeah, and this battle's mm, Yeah, we lost this one. Wow, what a third final battle. That's all I gotta say. This was going back and forth. He ends up popping a meteor. I mean, it don't really matter. I mean, my, my gamut's on legit 1 HP. Well, it's 4 HP, but it's not going to be able to soak up any type of shot. Now, the real question is, can we pose... Yo, now, 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 wait a minute. Now I'm starting to think. Can we pose a threat onto the gambit or onto the Garchomp where he's like, oh, he's going to sucker punch me. Let me protect or something. And I can just throw an Iron Head, take out the... uh. Take out the Dragonite and then go from there. That would be the only chance we win this battle. We need him to protect the Chomp. Nah, he goes straight for an Outrage. So yeah, I, I could have sucker punched him, but then the Dragonite was just KOing us after that. So we were hoping they made a misplay and we uh, capitalized on it. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Not too bad. Got to showcase Ampharos to its fullest potential. Great set of battles for today's video. Like I said, went one and two. Not too bad. Definitely wish we would grab ourselves another win, but the battles all around were solid. We got Ampharos out there, which is really cool to showcase considering it is an off meta Pokemon and is not as strong as the other Pokemon. So again, a lot of fun to use that Pokemon. We had the Frigraph, we had the King Gambit, and then Ampharos, Grimmsnarl, Dragapult, Arbalva. Really worked well all around and it was a solid team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.